Two degrees is the target for limiting the global temperature increase. But if greenhouse gas emissions were halted now, temperatures would still rise by up to one degree Celsius. 6,000 years ago, temperatures were at this level, and America's Midwest was a desert. In this future, mountains lose their glaciers and rivers vanish, the Indian subcontinent fighting for survival. A single degree temperature increase could eliminate fresh water from a third of the planet within 85 years. Warming at the poles happens faster than the global average. 40% of Arctic sea ice has disappeared in the last 30 years. While ice reflects heat, oceans absorb it. So as ice melts, the process becomes self-reinforcing. More ocean surface means more heat absorbed, which raises temperatures, making the ice less likely to reform. Mountainous regions are at greater risk of landslides as the permafrost which held them together for thousands of years melts away. Low-lying countries like the Maldives are submerged as sea levels rise and countries already hit by hurricanes face even greater storms. At a two-degree rise, people begin to die in what are now considered normal summers. In 2003, with temperatures 2.3 degrees above average, 52,000 people died across Europe. Plant growth slows down, then stops. Plants don't absorb carbon dioxide as efficiently, instead emitting it. The extra carbon sees global warming spiral out of control. 125,000 years ago, when temperatures were two degrees higher, sea levels were up by six metres. Today, that extra water makes up our polar ice, which is melting. By the year 2100, sea levels could rise by a metre, displacing 10% of the world's population. In this two-degree future, ecosystems across the globe collapse as species migrate and fall out of sync. A third of all life on Earth faces extinction. Scientists say we can still avoid a two-degree rise if we limit our carbon emissions to no more than 2.9 trillion tonnes. We've already used 1.9 trillion tonnes. We have one trillion left to use between now and forever. At the current rate, we'll use it in just 21 years.